Hi, me some bonus. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hey y'all, so I'm about to do my hair and I was like, what a perfect, there's no better opportunity than now to do a little updated curly hair routine, you know, the vibes. Um, so a few months ago, I cut my hair very, 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 very short and literally the year before I cut it even shorter. Um, and honestly, the hair products that my lady used when I went to go see her are pretty much different than the ones that I use now. I'm still using the products that I used before because I had just like restocked on products before gonna go, going to see her and then she used completely new products when I went to see her and I was like, hold up, wait a minute because I need to see if the products that I currently have are gonna give me the same results because these products are not cheap. They're high quality products and I'm like, I'm not about to just go spend another 200 bucks on a brand new thing of products if my original products can do the same job you know what i mean so it actually ended up working out in my favor the only thing is a sense it's like a the styling gel that i use can get kind of sort of like not crunchy but like it can um when i pick out my hair it can get flaky so i have to very like dry it out with get out all the excess gel from my hair with um a t-shirt so that's what i've been doing and i've been getting pretty much the same results and i really love how my hair has been turning out so i wanted to show y'all how i get this bouncy fluffy voluminous hair um and side note no my hair is not fake everyone like i literally have been getting asked if my hair was natural, is it real? Is it this, that, and third? And I'm like, be for real. It's actually getting on my last nerve that people keep asking me that. And it's just like, why someone who looks like me can't have nice hair, you know what I mean? Like that's kind of what's insinuating. And I do not look at all. Oh, excuse me, I'm, I'm trying to stop cussing, but it's been like a really big, big, big struggle to stop cussing. But anyways, let me stop talking and just rambling at this point and show you guys what i use on my hair so i use the ubi dot advanced climate control anti-frizz heat and humidity gel and this is gonna be great because it's gonna start getting warmer it's starting to get warmer outside so this new england frit like this new england heat and like humidity is horrible it looks like this device isn't registered for help go to your alexa app Thank you, Alexa, for nothing. Um, so yeah, I've been, <laughs> I use this. Um, the bottle's like $75 on their website. And also on Ulta, you can get on Ulta. I normally just get it on Ulta, but I know their website always has a discount. So that's always great. So I use this to style. Obviously you need a spray bottle because my hair like literally i just got out of the shower and it's already dry like i drenched drenched, drenched. my hair needs just a, my hair i just have that kind of hair where like i need a lot of water and then then i use this as a cream that i put throughout my entire head before even styling it's a hydro fusion intense curl cream this is the only thing that i've changed since going to get my hair cut um this past january no, this past December. This is the only thing that I've added. Um, I'm trying to like, although Diva Curl has not personally affected me, I'm trying to like slowly start to steer away from it because the paranoia has been hitting me that like, oh my God, everything's going great. And I'm just eventually magically gonna start losing hair. <laughs> and uh, my hair is a big part of my identity. So babes, that cannot happen. So this is the only thing that I've basically changed. And then when my hair is dry after diffusing, um, I will go in with the Uidad Mongogo oil and it smells so freaking good. I just like spritz, spritz, spritz one half, spritz one half, and then I put some on my fingers and then get the ends of my hair to try to um, like get rid of the crunchiness. Okay, enough of me talking, let's get into it. First thing I do is, oh, first of all, ladies, you're gonna need, ladies and gents, I don't know who be watching, you know what I mean? So let me be inclusive. Um, a shirt, because it's gonna get real wet over here. 
And then I also oh. have a little clip. Oh my gosh, girl, she's struggling. A little clippy clip and two hair ties. Um, so I also have like a little rag because a girl, it'd be getting your hands with the gel sometimes it gets like too much so then you're putting there's too much like excess gel on your hands so then you put too much on your hair and you don't want to do that um because then it gets that's when the flakiness comes in if you add like too much gel to your hair and that flakiness be looking like you got dandruff and it's not cute especially because normally for me i get my hair to last about five to six days if I'm like actually really good at maintaining it throughout the week. So that's why I just like fix it up a little bit when I like get ready for the day. And then that's literally it. It lasts me even like through going to the gym. I normally go to the gym like four or five days a week. So even through like all the gym sweat and everything, my hair does last, especially cause like I just clip it up. But it's literally just like how you do your hair that first day determines how your hair is gonna like last the entire week so don't be playing around when it comes to styling your hair the first day so as i as you just saw maybe you didn't see i put two little pumps of the styling cream and i will go in with the first half of my head the first side of my hair can't even talk and comb it throughout and then two more pumps look my hands are already getting slippery girl and then geez guys i'm struggling okay so then two more pumps for the other side of the head Yo, I'm low-key, not low-key, high-key, so happy the sun's starting to set later in Boston because, oh my gosh, I can't do this cold, like, although I, it's kind of bittersweet that I'm finishing college and literally less than, like, I think it's like 65 or 4 days, um, and I'm gonna be moving back home and it's actually crazy. I'm gonna miss the city, but I'm definitely ready for more consistent weather. Like, I'm a poom poom short kind of girl. Okay, anyways. Um, exactly that. Make sure it's rubbed in all throughout the head. Honestly, short hair is the way to go. I love it. I like the length my hair was at before when I cut it the first time, but just like it just doesn't take as long to do and it's just amazing. Um, okay, so this is where we start styling the hair. So I do the middle part last. So I will just tie that up. And then I will split my hair in half. And then we get started. So the key is, hold on, let me put more of my hair. The key is, is just kind of like smaller sections and finger coiling is what gets you the look that you want. Let me go get another hair tie. So. This is kind of like the section you want to start off with, like small like this. And then I will actually go in and wet my hair some more every section that I do. Like, when I tell you don't play about the water, do not play about the water. Okay. 
Like your hair should be drenched, girl. All right, so I will put in like that much. Rub, 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 and then move it throughout. Comb it throughout. And then the key is because I have like bangs and I'm going for more volume, you don't curl at the root. You just curl like a quarter way through like this like you don't curl at the root because then if you curl at the root it's going to be like two i want definition and volume which is kind of hard to get both but i learned that if you don't curl at the root you're able to get the volume in the big hair and then you scrunch 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 and that's what it's looking like So yeah, literally you just do this throughout the entire head. Um, and then I will show you guys when I get to the middle, like the front part that I tied up to show you guys what I do there to make sure like my curls fall beautifully. Um, some people use a comb first to, like, run it through, and sometimes I do that. It just honestly depends. But yeah, that's literally all I do. Um, I will see you guys when I end up getting to the top of my head. Okay, mis amores, I end up getting to the last, literally, like, part of my hair. So, what I like to do is just flip it all. Like, when I'm finger coiling it, just literally flip it all back. That way, when I'm diffusing and I flip my hair forward, the curls are like big and full at the top. Because if I just like part it to the side, it just ends up like looking weird. It's weird. Like if I like curl it like this and just throw it to the side, it ends up looking weird. So I just Pull it all back. So then when I like flip my hair, when I'm diffusing, it's like big and round and volume. A lot, a lot of volume. When I was younger, I think it's just because I was just not comfortable with my hair yet. I was very like volume who. I did not want anything to do with volume. And to think how much my hair has progressed i'm like oh my god who who are she like what like baby girl you don't come a long way pieces 
I would honestly say diffusing is probably the worst part of doing your hair because it actually takes for freaking ever. It's horrible. But honestly, diffusing is the best. So these pieces are kind of too short so they just don't go back. So I'll just leave them in the front like this. Voila, I'm done. And then I'll scrunch. Scrunch that girl. If your hair does not sound like this, you did not put enough water in your hair. Like, fun fact. Okay, so then I go in with my shirt and then I will get rid of all the excess water because if I don't get rid of all the excess gel and water, that's when it gets flaky when I'm picking it out after diffusing it. And I can... So I will start off with my head forward and I will get the root first because the like the outer part of your hair is just easier to dry but the roots take the longest. Okay, so when I'm diffusing, when I get most of like 90% of the head dry, I will then start turning it side to side and diffusing versus like just diffusing like that. And then once the whole head's dry, I will just like move the bangs how I want it and then diffuse straight forward again. Okay y'all, once I get to this point, my entire head is diffused and dried, period. This literally took forever. Diffusing takes minimum like an hour, honestly. Um, and this piece of hair is always an awkward curl, but whatever. Okay, so then I will go in with this, Mongogo oil. Like, oh, it smells so good. Okay, and then I will spray 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 and then put two spritzes on my hands and then i will go get the ends just to try to get rid of as much crunch as possible my hair for the most like it's not really crunchy that's why to get to make sure you don't have crunch like crunchiness that's why it's important to do the um the t-shirt and get rid of all that excess gel and water when you're done with styling okay and then i'll go in blow back, back one more time with the diffuser okay um so the key to the big volume like you can already tell it it's already a lot of volume but the key that like my favorite part is probably the picking part. Start at the root and you literally just pick up. Like what? Okay guys, this is the finished product. I know she's getting hot. <laughs> like, uh, I'm literally so obsessed with my hair. Y'all don't even understand. I can really like, what? This haircut literally just, I'm still not over it. And the curls are literally perfect. 
So my hair actually lasts about five or six days if I maintain it well throughout the week. So that's why it's really important to have like a really good, like a really good foundation to when you're doing your hair the first day. Like if you do your hair really good the first day, it's gonna last you five or seven days. When my hair is a little bit longer, it lasted seven days because I could put it up in a pineapple and now I really can't put it up in a pineapple because it's so short. Um, so yeah, it actually lasts me like five or six days. So ladies, listen up, just do it. One, take the time to do it like really good the first day, even though if it's going to take you a few hours and then you're going to get this hair to last you the entire week and then you just do touch ups. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see y'all next week. Wind it up one night, baby take your time